Doug Hughes is on the line with us, a postal worker and activist. He uh, has a fascinating website, thedemocracyclub.org. And he decided to fly a gyrocopter onto the lawn of the uh, of the Capitol building, uh, for which he was in court here in Washington D.C. yesterday. Doug, welcome to the program. Oh, thanks for having me on. And I understand you can't be uh, with us in the studio because you're under house arrest. Well, uh, I'm on my way back down to uh, Florida, back uh, to Washington this morning. Uh huh. Okay. So tell us, tell us about the democracyclub.org and what motivated you to, uh, to, to take a gyrocopter and fly it onto the lawn of the Capitol building. Well, I've been uh, watching the movement for several years, and I, in fact, I went out to California uh, to attend a conference that was put on by Root Strikers, which is Larry Lessig's group, one of, the, one of the premier ones. But he had a number of other groups with him on the podium, and they were talking about the different solutions. And I was extremely impressed that over a period of time, I observed that the growth rate isn't fast enough for to get for us to get things done. Um, we're not getting the coverage in the press that we need to have. Although everybody's aware that there's a problem, a lot of people. The majority of people don't know that there are solutions and groups um, who can pass a constitutional amendment, who have written the anti-corruption law, for example. And I, cynically, I believe that the press is fully aware that in the next election there's going to be $7 million spent, and most of it's going to go to advertising, and a lot of it is going to be advertising revenue for the major networks. And they don't want to lock the vote. So they're not doing anything to give coverage to this issue. And I went around the mainstream media and took the issue as directly as I could to the people. My website spotlights the solutions that are there, not just the problem that everybody knows about. Yeah, yeah. Remarkable, um, uh, Doug. What's your what's your legal si- what's your legal situation right now? Um, well, yesterday they formally charged me with uh, two felonies and four misdemeanors. Um, one of the misdemeanors is rather laughable. I'm, I think I'm charged with impersonating a mailman. Um, I am a mailman, <laughs> so. Uh, that one doesn't concern me a whole lot, and my attorney is working on the other ones. I'll have another meeting in D.C. probably in three weeks, and at that time, we'll probably by that time, we'll probably know whether or not we're going to have to go to trial. Right. As a mailman, Doug, we're talking with Doug Hughes, the fellow who, ran, who flew the uh, gyrocopter onto the lawn of the Capitol to deliver 535 letters to members of Congress, uh, calling for money out of politics, um, and Doug, correct me if I mischaracterized anything. Um, I, I, I'm I'm curious your your thoughts on on uh, how, as a postal worker, how the post office has been screwed basically um, by big money interests. Doug, excuse me, Doug. Uh, okay, good day. You still there? Yeah, yeah, I am. I lost you for just a moment. Okay. Uh, my question was, um, you know, you're a postal worker, and, and uh, nine years ago, the Republicans put this poison pill uh, amendment into a, a house or a, an appropriations bill that uh, right. forced, you know, that, that basically was designed to take down the post office or weaken it to the point where they could rationalize privatizing it and selling its functions off to UPS and FedEx. And uh, is that not another symptom of the corrupting and corrosive influence of money in politics that the institution that Ben Franklin created is under attack from big money? Well, you're, you're pointing out something that is known within the post office and not commonly known outside. Um, what the Congress did is they required the post office to fund uh, retirement benefits, the medical retirement benefits, for postal employees who haven't even been born yet. Right. Uh, they wanted us to pre-fund 75 years 
of anticipated uh, medical benefits, and they wanted us to come up with the money in, in uh, 10 years, if I recall correctly. That's correct. So they made this huge burden on the post office, and the recession hit at the same time, and it broke the bank. Um, we were running red ink for a long time. Uh, the post office has significantly recovered, but uh, the whole play, I'm in agreement with you, was intended to excuse an attempt to privatize the profits of the post office. And uh, it's a horribly, horribly, horribly bad idea. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. There's so much money in politics right now that these kind of schemes are being promoted by Congress right. um, to privatize areas of the government that should not be privatized in order to generate profits for a very few people. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Yeah, no, you're, 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 it was an important comment. Um, I, I'm curious, is your job as a postal worker at risk now as a consequence of what you did? Um, at this point, I am suspended pending, pending an investigation, uh, and I'm suspended with pay, which I appreciate, but my general feeling based on the, uh, the types of questions that I've been asked uh, the postal brass is, is not happy with me would be an understatement. Yeah, I can imagine. Doug Hughes, the website is thedemocracyclub.org, and uh, this is one you put up yourself, right, Doug? That's right. Yeah, it's... Uh, entirely. And so, if, if anybody complains that it's looked cheesy, well, it wasn't done by a pro. Hey, I was I was uh, just there 15 minutes ago. I think it's brilliant. I think he did a great job with it. Thedemocracyclub.org. Um, the idea of the Democracy Club, and I'm going to be expanding it to uh, identify other groups that I haven't previously, but the idea is that it's a menu of options of, for groups that are working on this, and I'd like people to go out to one place and they can select a group that they agree with. And what they're going to do is give them their email and some information so that they can be in the loop on what they can do. Uh, to get money out of politics. We're not looking to get any money or a lot of time out of anybody. We want a lot of people to do a little bit. Sometimes it'll be voting. Sometimes it'll be writing letters to the right people at the right time. But get engaged in the process of reform. This can be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The group Move to Amend, for example, is doing a great job with that. Um, but, and, but citizen, public citizen, there's a, and I'm assuming you're linking out to all of these, these various groups that are worried yeah, about money. And and a lot of the groups, uh, have reached out to me and, uh, some of the groups that I'm getting aligned with wouldn't come to mind right off, but, uh, Code Pink has been a big supporter and they're a peace movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But Code Pink understands, didn't take a second to think about it, that, it's money in politics that drives a lot of the war machine. Yep. I heard you were talking about it early on before I came on, but Congress is appropriating money to buy weapon systems that the Pentagon has identified they don't want. Now, why would Congress appropriate hundreds of millions of dollars for weapon systems that the Pentagon doesn't want? Because they're getting paid by the lobbyists who represent the companies who can sell this junk that the Pentagon doesn't want. Right. Doug, we're out of time, but thank you so much for being with us. Doug Hughes, the uh, courageous postal worker, activist, and gyrocopter pilot, thedemocracyclub.org. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. Good talking.